to me, it's so funny how every time I feel discouraged about MRL's training, the next training session we have, he seems to find a way to bring encouragement back. Good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? Well, the dogs are doing sleep because it's late. Um, so what has the day been today? Uh, had work. Work went well. Um, oh, hey, got a text message. Do -do -do. There we go. Um... I'm really craving something to eat right now, even though I really don't need to be eating anything this late, but whatever. So, I had work, and then went at a late lunch at Bucking Burrito, which is like a Moe's, but not as good. Um, and then came home. Oh, no, I went by Tractor Supply, too, so I've told you guys how MRL's been weird about chewing on stuff lately. So, let me show you right there. That is a water buffalo horn. So I got him and Riddler stuff to chew on because I was like, maybe he needs something to chew on because I mean, I've tried everything else, the exercise, mental stimulation, I've tried everything and he tends to want to chew on my things at night. So I'm like, you know, if he has the horn, then he can chew on that. He and Riddler absolutely love the horn right now. They each have one. and. I mean, it took me a little bit to get, like, to pick out something because there were three criteria I was going for. Number one, it had to last a while. Number two, it couldn't splinter. So a lot of, like, bones, like, you could get pork femurs or, like, cow bones or whatever, they splinter, which is bad for dogs. Um... They probably are pretty good if your dog's not as hard of a chewer, but I know my boys are definitely very tough chewers. And then the third thing is it could not be made out of rawhide. Because, fun fact, Riddler over here is allergic to beef. Um, if he eats any food that has beef in it, he breaks out. It's crazy. And then when he eats rawhide, he'll get sick. So... I have to keep him in mind. Oh, hi. Oh, are you itchy? You itchy, bud? And I found the water buffalo horns. It was like, oh, hey, this is great. Um, it's funny because on the tag was a scale. It was like, you know, soft, medium, tough, or something like that. And like this was like on the tough end of the chewing scale. So it should hopefully last them a while. The boys absolutely love it. Um... And then got home. Watched some YouTube. I almost took a nap. But something told me, hey, you should go work on heel training with MRL. So, took him outside. My dad had let Riddler out too, so I let them, I let him off leash. Let them go run, play, so that he could get some energy out. And then he and I worked on heel training. And let me just tell you guys, I'm super proud of him. Heel is something that he's kind of been having difficulty with, but I, weirdly enough, I found some tips via a book at Petco while I'm working. And I was like, you know, this is actually pretty good. So, he did fantastic. I was so proud of him. And it's interesting because literally yesterday, after I recorded the video of his tasks and commands, I felt really discouraged. I was like, maybe he's not knowing as much as he should. Maybe, um, I don't know. I've always felt like I'm not doing enough for him. Even though I know you guys have told me that he's doing great. That for his age, he really knows a lot. And he does know a lot. I know, th I know that too, but it's like part of me deep down still feels like I'm not doing enough. But... He did great on heel training, and that just brought my spirits up. 
to me, it's so funny how every time I feel discouraged about MRL's training, the next training session we have, he seems to find a way to bring encouragement back. Like, people, we don't deserve dogs. Dogs are amazing creatures. How did we come to deserve them? I don't know. I'm also thinking that because I saw a video of a man who was a painter and he became blind and his dog helped him to return to painting and learn how to paint stuff, which was adorable. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, that happened and I'm really proud of MRL. Of course, we'll work on more heel training. And the best thing was we did this outside, which I know outside for him is a like big distraction zone, but he did great. And I am super proud of him. Oh, and let me know in the comments below, guys, if you want me to explain the tips that I learned about how to help with his heel training. Because I researched a lot of ways on how to help with his heel. And I think this method that we did really worked for him. Or maybe it's because we've worked heel for so long. At this point, I didn't even give him a command for heel. I'm just expecting him, you need to be able to walk like this. And he's figured that out, so, yay. Good job, little fluff butt. Even though you're sleeping and you don't really hear me. Um, but now I am finally getting yesterday's vlog up. I'm sorry that vlogs have been going up later and later. Life happens. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just like, uh. So... Yeah, I feel like I've just rambled to you guys. I'm sorry about that. It's like I have all these thoughts in my mind and then where did they go? So now I'm going to sign up for the night and hopefully be able to sleep. Since last night, I only got four hours of sleep because anxiety was like, let's stay awake. Oh yeah, that was something else I was going to talk about. Um... So I went to bed at like 11, because it took that long for my brain to finally be like, we'll sleep now. Woke up at like 1.30 to the dogs being like, I gotta go outside. Take them outside. I can't get back to sleep until 4.30. And then, of course, my alarm went off at 8. But I got another hour of sleep. My mom watched the dogs while I went back to sleep. Because I didn't have work till 11 today, so that was helpful. But, yeah. Fun times. So I'm going to sign up for the night and hopefully be able to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Let's see. Question of the day is... If you have a dog, service dog, regular dog, it doesn't matter. What is something they've done that you've been really proud of? Of course, the way MRL did today. I'm always proud of him, but this just made me extra happy. So put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, fluffer butt. Good night, sassy girl. And good night, Mr. Twitchy. Somebody's having a dream.